a student of multimedia university currently in my third year uh, as you see i'm the ceo of karina beauty this business has been able to give me a lot of profits i can even commend someone to eat i've been able to pay school fees with it, shopping and all stuff so it has been a very good experience this business has helped me a lot and i can really commend anyone to take up the task it doesn't mean that i'm not faced challenges i've faced so many challenges but through the help of god i've overcome all of them so i can recommend all the girls to, to learn how to be dependent because you are just like your own boss, you know? Yeah, so I thank God for that. Yeah. Hi, I'm Kennedy Kutum. I'm a student at Multimedia University. I take software engineering. Currently, I'm in Fodia. I'm completing on August 31st. Uh, I'm an employee in the business in Chafua as a fruit vendor. We usually sell all kinds of fruit, starting from avocados, oranges watermelons, pineapples, all those. I can give a brief, you know, approximate of the profits since I've been there and I've known how the business is being carried out. So the approximate profit that is made per day is a thousand, running from a thousand to two thousand, thereabout. entrepreneur it has helped me understand the concepts of business the challenges of businesses and also the expectation when because when you're starting a business there's this huge expectation that you make profit when you start but I came to understand that that, that is not a that is a misconception and it has help me understand that when you start a business you, you are going to experience challenges and it's not that you are going to experience profit but the, exper the profit will come later on after you cope up with the challenges and determination in this kind of business because mostly <laughs> challenges will come on your way challenges are being brought by the people and also the competition from the businesses other businesses First, I'd like to give a recommendation to the school and the leadership of the students in the school concerning the businesses in Chafo. Mostly, students are supposed to be the ones holding those businesses. But during the application, there are some kind of corruption involved in those businesses. Because even mostly on these, you know, these huge outlets, so there's, there's a bit of corruption that will in the most of the students also from accessing these businesses. And these businesses are located, are, are meant for those students who are needy in order for, you know, to help them in, in carrying out their own business, in, in their own, to help them. But this corruption is are done by those students with money or those leaders who allocate these businesses. So the businesses end up, most of them, going to those leaders and these needy students yeah, don't get the business. So that is the recommendation I'd like to give the MUXA and the administration. I'm a hairdresser and a beautician at Multimedia University. I'm a salon in Ajitanga Sasi, Beauty Pola. Student. Uh, okay. Students, it's easier to now. Uh, age, now up now. Okay, as in
kina yani kina nini na pocket friend wow eh challenges ni sasa leo wameenda long holiday sasa hiyo hauko job ya bidi kukahasa uko nje eh challenges zingine ni una limit prices as una una limit bei kwa sababu they are students wanategemea wazazi ai tena most of the time when you unapata class wengi ni like end month na katikati ya mwezi kwa sababu hizo ndio parents bado still ndio wanapata pesa so si like uko nje ati kuna customers wengi kwa shule wange allow like in the salon kufanya vitu zingine like wange allow kwa salon kuna kinyesi so si biashara moja peke yake na pia uze vitu za ladies ya wengi kwa ni poa sana I'm Winnie Wanyoike, taking bachelor's in journalism at Multimedia University of Kenya. I I own this business of nail art. I've been doing it for quite some time now. It helps me in paying my school fees and my upkeep, though it has disadvantages. Like if I know the school closes, we don't have customers, so it becomes kind of hard. But yeah, it's it's nice. So what we do, you make sure when a client come here, you serve them to a level best so they can go and bring more customers. My name is Miriam Jerry Keiro. I'm a student at Multimedia University of Kenya. I love the services around here. They are awesome. And uh, recommendations? I just want our, want our administration to be serious with the businesses around the schools. My name is Kevin Tonga. I am a student at Multimedia University. I'm doing uh, journalism. Okay, so the shops and the businesses at Chafua the Kunavenye, we as students in Rakeseka, because as you speak right now, we only have one single shop. Uh, we used to have two, but uh, it was uh, later changed into a, you know, a hotel or a, ca a cafe of some sort. So the challenges we normally face as students is that, uh, okay, the shops are very few and the students are many. We have a population of like about 7,000 students. And uh, the school, uh, the school mess can only serve like uh, a thousand of those. So you see, the other six thousand all, all have to come and eat at uh, Chafua. That's what we call it. But so we find that we are too many, and the people who serve there are very few. So na kwanga na jam most of the time we can't be served well. Na kwingi sana. Also the environment at which they cook their food is not that clean, or it's not very hygienic. So we like them to change that.